Recently, Disney Plus just dropped their new movie, Raya and the Last Dragon. This is their most recent animated movie. And to be honest with you, I had no idea what to expect when I was jumping into this movie. I didn't see a trailer or anything. This movie definitely got overshadowed by WandaVision. Marvel's hit series was having its series finale the same day that this movie was released. Which really is a shame because this movie has a lot of heart. The artwork is absolutely stunning. Seriously, some of the best animation out there. Although there are a few character designs that are definitely questionable. I would have loved to see a more dragony dragon instead of this fuzzy lady unicorn that would it's clearly designed to sell merchandise. Come on Disney, you're better than that. The choice to make the dragon more cutesy makes some of the scenes really awkward. It's definitely not a terrible design, I would have just preferred a more realistic approach. I mean it's supposed to be a water dragon but it's covered in lion fur. I really liked all of the characters in this movie, but my favorite had to be Aquafina as Sisu. Honestly, I would put it up there with Eddie Murphy as Mushu and Mulan. Both did a great job at capturing the underdog with great potential role. I'll be straight with you. I'm a big Aquafina fan. Seriously, I might be in love. I think her fun and unique personality is perfect for animation. She is great at capturing emotions with her voice. I did see some people complaining about Sisu's naiveness but I think it played well. She's a magical godlike creature who pretty much got Thanos snapped out of existence for 500 years. She's a fish out of water. Sisu practically lives in her own world where only the good exists because that's all she knows. There was only peace in Kumandra before the drones. The area this movie lacks in is within the story. I, I should clarify that. The story is fine. In fact, this movie has one of the strongest opening scenes that I've seen in a long time. It really got my attention from the start. It does a great job in showing the vast difference between the world with and without dragons. Kumanja was a beautiful place full of life. When the druids came, the dragons sacrificed their lives and the people separated. When the dragon's jewel broke, so did the world. I'm trying to stay as spoiler free as possible so I'll move on. The last act of this movie is also really strong. It's the middle that could have used some work. The relationship between Raya and her father was built within only minutes, but their connection lasted the entire film. All of the other side characters could easily have their own movie as well. The shrimp boat boy was hilarious. He was one of my favorites. The little baby and the monkeys, they were adorable. And don't even get me started on Tuk Tuk. I need one immediately, Disney. The antagonist is also pretty easy to hate, which is always a good thing. I just wish we got to see more of these characters and their land. They introduce us to so many great characters, but we don't get to see much of them at all. Even though the movie is already close to two hours long, I think if they had an extra 20 to 30 minutes just to show some more of each of the unique destinations, that would have strengthened the story quite a bit. I would have also liked to see more development between Raya and Sisu. She is the last dragon. The title is called Raya and the Last Dragon, but their friendship seems kind of forced early on. They really just throw all of these characters at us without giving us time to connect with them before throwing more at us. I don't know if they have a series that's planned to tie into this or have some sequels lined up, but I would definitely love to see more of Kumandra. The animation team did a phenomenal job in showing the difference between the sceneries. Each place they visit has its own unique feel. The gorgeous animation is complemented perfectly by the score. This soundtrack is amazing. James Newton Howard composed this movie and I would love to see him do more in the future. Now I'm going to get a little bit spoiled. Spoilerly, spo spoilerly here. So, if you want to avoid that, put your fingers in your ears and just yell real loud. If your parents ask why, just say the man on the TV told you. Okay, so Sisu dying to a single arrow? Nah, dog, that's a freaking dragon. I really hated that scene. I wish they would have done it a different way, but it built that strong ending. The writers really wanted us to hate and distrust this woman and that one betrayal when they were children just wasn't enough all in all i really enjoyed this movie and have already watched it three times and we'll probably watch it another 27 times to get my money's worth
Charging an extra $30 for this movie is a little steep in my opinion, especially since it's going to be free in like three weeks. Them choosing to make Soul a free film and this a charged film is really a weird move by Disney. I don't know what their plan is. I definitely feel like they would get more people interested in Disney Plus if they included their movies for free. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble for the last couple minutes. Hopefully you give this movie a chance. I enjoyed it a lot. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters on the Minjay.